Okay, so let's just start by walking in place and picking my knees up a little bit and then coming down onto my toes first and then heels. So I'm just kind of warming up my hips, my knees, my ankles, all those little bones in my feet. And then just let your arms be sort of loose. Exaggerate the movement in your hips. And then coming to stillness and just moving your arms, big movements. And then with your hands on your shoulders, in these circles, kind of bending into them, let, let your knees be soft. So you can feel this in the whole shoulder girdle, but also in the rib cage. Now the other direction, Feels so good. <laughs> All right. And then just bringing the arms in front and the back, front with the other hand on top, and to the back. And again, in big shoulder rolls, one shoulder at a time, leaning into it. And then warming up the neck. So beginning just looking up and down. And so here we're moving these little joints or all of the joints, and it's giving the body a chance to lubricate the joints, let them move a little bit more easily, coming to neutral, and then just side to side. So there we're warming up, we're lubricating the joints, and it's giving us a chance to just get a sense of any areas that might be tender or feel a little bit guarded coming to stillness and then side to side with your ear just coming toward the shoulder we'll let the shoulder be relaxed and pausing on one side and reaching the other hand out you're stretching the hand, sort of like you're trying to touch where the corner of the floor and the bottom of the wall Come together. Then coming to neutral. And now the other direction. Reaching out the arm. Stretching the arm and then putting that arm down and then just moving the head a little bit like your gaze is going to go from the floor toward the ceiling. And it's just coming back to neutral and again on the other side. And then turning your head kind of like slowly 
shaking their head no. All right, and then circling the head. Direction and then the other. Uh, and then kind of bouncing, just bouncing by moving the knees and swaying big circles. And then just moving the hips, moving the hips side to side. And then big circles. And then going in the other direction. And then coming to stillness, picking up one heel. Just pressing down into the toes on that foot, and sort of moving your foot a little bit from side to side. So really just moving these joints at the, the base of the toes and the long bones in the foot. And then circling, circling the foot. going in the other direction. And coming to stillness, just noticing how it feels inside your feet and ankles. And sometimes it's hard to feel inside our bodies. So when we've done something to, to make a difference, it can be a little bit easier to notice. And now let's lift the other heel and press down into the toes. And then circling the foot. And one one direction and then the other. And coming back is to walking in place. Coming down, toes, heel, toes, heel. I'm gonna pause for one second to see if Jesse has joined. Okay, so warming up a little bit with seal jacks. So here we're just using big muscles to warm up the body. We're going to raise the body temperature a little bit, bending into this. Standing upright, pulling your tummy in. And then high knees and bringing your knee across the midline, if that's comfortable for you. And moving, moving the upper body so that you're bringing the opposite elbow or the opposite hand in the general direction of that knee, keeping your tummy pulled in. You can really feel this 
the stomach muscles and the front and on the side. And coming to stillness, and we'll do our lunge complex. So the forward, side, and back a few times with each foot. And again, we're able to to get a sense of how are these different joints and muscles feeling today? How does my balance feel today? And coming back to high knees. I'm going to move to a chair with a band and feel free to get a, a drink of water first if, if that seems like a good idea. I don't like it. It felt like a good idea for me. And we can do this again with the band. If not, you don't have a band, I'm sure that you have been adapting, however, is appropriate for you. So here I've got the band under one foot. I'm holding on with two hands and I'm keeping my upper arms close to my body. My elbow is at about 90 degrees. And then lifting the foot, if that's comfortable. If not, you can just keep it aimed toward the floor and bringing the foot toward the body and extending it. Now I shorten my hold on this a little bit so that I can feel my leg working when I extend my leg and when I bring it back, when I slowly bring it back. And feeling the, the muscles in the arms engaged. So smile on the face. Hold your stomach in. <laughs> and then switching legs. And again, just slowly. Extending the leg and then flexing at the knee. And feeling all the different muscles that are involved in this. Now, uh, bringing both feet to the floor. Now I'm just going to stand up, so do some squats. So again, I'm, I've got my upper arms pinned against my the side of my body. I'm holding on, leaning forward a bit, and standing up and, and going back down. So just doing this at Whatever speed feels good for you, the quicker, the quicker we do things. Well, it's going to be a little bit more of a cardio workout. I find that sometimes if I do it slowly, and I'm just using the muscle fibers a little bit differently. So either way, either way it works. And then 
The next time you stand up, stay that way. Now I'm going to use a weight instead of the band to do these L shaped arm raises. So whatever, whatever works for you, taking a, a stance that's solid, knees bent a little bit, and then lifting the arm in front and then to the side. Keep the elbow slightly bent. Keeping your posture upright, your shoulders relaxed, even though we're working them. Keep your chin tucked in, Keep your belly tucked in. Once more each way and keep the belly tucked in tightly and then change, change hands. And I've noticed then if I kind of let go of my belly a little, I can feel that in my low back. So I want to keep my belly tight to protect my back. I don't use don't you wait use weights on this arm, but it's still you know, I'm still lifting the weight of my arm. Still using all those same muscles. Good. I'm getting two weights. And the here is going to be for the, the triceps. So bringing, bringing the weights back, palms for the ceiling. And so, and, or you can also have your palms toward the body, but do forward lunge, backward lift, forward lunge, backward lift. And then coming to a stance, you can take the weight in both hands, raise the weight overhead with your with your upper arms close to close to the head, and now just bending the elbows, bringing the weight down and up. So here we're using these same muscles. This is still using the triceps, just this, this way. Okay, with the stomach tight, the, the gluteal muscles tight. Chin tucked in and bringing that down. And with the chin tucked in, it's not only you know the chin down a little bit, but also pulled back, pulled back. So we're like this little turtle move. Okay. Now I'm just turning side to side. 
and sort of pivot into this a little bit. We're just loosening up a lot of the muscles that we just tightened up. And again, high knees. And bringing the opposite arm in the general direction and even, you know, swing in your arms at the same time. So getting as many muscles involved in this as we can. And now we'll we'll do some of our planks. So getting the chair or whatever, whatever you use. Getting that set up. And coming into uh, the plank formation. So with your wrists under your shoulders. Your back straight, pulling in your belly, tightening the muscles in your legs. And then taking one leg, straight leg, to the side and back. Trying to keep your hips still, letting the movement when you bring the leg back. And so don't arch your back to get that up, to get the leg up. Just doing the muscles and the legs working. We're not trying to, we're not really trying to lift the feet way off the ground, because in order to do that, we would have to involve the back a lot more. But we're using these muscles on the side and the back of the hips coming to stillness. And now the other leg, keeping your foot flexed. And just slowly in the leg behind and then to the side. And then putting the foot down. And going into T raises, so turning, reaching for the ceiling, and the other direction. And just really feeling this reach. And then locking this in and just sort of moving in place, letting your hips move side to side, your wrists. Okay, and then coming back into this plank formation. And here we'll do we'll move the the hands. We'll do a curl and a row, one hand and then the other, keeping your belly 
and your gluteal muscles and the leg muscles engaged so that your body is still as much as possible from the waist down. And then now bending a knee and doing the donkey kick, fire hydrant, alternating legs. A lot of the same muscles that we used with the straight leg. And walking it in. Kind of walking in place. And just leaning forward, just a little bit of a forward fold, and just pulsing the hands toward the floor. And then to one side, letting the hand sort of come alongside one foot. And then the other way, the other foot. And then slowly putting your hands on your leg and rolling up. Rolling up, take your time. Take a couple of breaths. And then coming back into the chair. Sitting towards the front of the chair, long back. We extend your face ahead of you and then pull it back. Extend your face in front and then pull it back. And now keep it pulled back a little bit with the chin tucked down. And bringing both, both hands forward and moving your hands to the side and looking ahead. So just the hands, keep your belly tucked in, but you can really feel this in the abdominal muscles. And then the next time, let your gaze move with your hands. And just notice there's a little bit of a difference there. I find that I can turn a little bit farther to the side. And I can feel more of my obliques engaged, the belly muscles on the side of the body. Even though the other way still engages the obliques, it's not as much of them. That's how it feels to me. Okay, coming to stillness. And now sitting here, Using one foot and then the other. And stretching your hand toward your foot. Keep your belly tucked in. Coming to stillness, now bringing 
bringing the hands up and your elbows back. So as if you're standing against a wall. Now, lifting one foot up and then the other and bringing the elbow toward your knee. And again, trying to keep the elbows back. Otherwise, I find if I'm not paying attention to that, I might just bring my elbow in front of me and makes it easy. I feel like, oh, I can do a lot of these. I could do this all day, but it's not having the same impact on, on the belly muscles. Okay, coming to stillness, bring your hands down, a few shoulder rolls, one, one way and then the other, and then one arm overhead, leaning to the side and I'm going on the, to the other side. And so here we're just stretching out these oblique muscles. They tighten up when we're using them. So then we want to stretch them out a little bit. I'm going to get one weight. And holding this weight at the top of my chest, turning, and then extending my hands. So here I'm going to lean back so that I can get a little more bang for my buck as far as using the abs and then slowly turning one way and then the other and extending the weight. breathing. All right. I'm coming to standing. I'm going to keep this weight. And then do this sort of golf swing move. So taking, taking a wide stance. Knees a little soft. Everything kind of tucked in. And then bending. One leg, bringing the weight down with the foot and straightening that leg as we bring the weight up. And we'll stay on that same side, going as quickly or slowly as you want. Keeping the Keeping your core muscles engaged. Letting your gaze follow the weight. And then switch sides. So come back to, to the center. And on the other side. And you can just feel these muscles in your entire back, your arms, and the muscles in your legs slowly. As you bend and then straighten up.
All right. And he's coming back to this walking in place. And just let your arms feel loose, your hips feel loose. And here we are warming up. And again, just stretching out these muscles that that we've been holding. And bringing one arm in front, and just a little stretch in the shoulder. And then the other arm. Stretch. Okay, and back to seal jacks. And now that we're getting warmed up here, can increase the the speed. And coming, coming back to, to stillness. Yeah, taking sort of a wide stance with your, you know, with your feet at a comfortable position. If you if you bend your knees a little bit, you sort of want your knees and your toes to be going in the the same direction. And then just coming down into a bit of a squat. And you come down an inch, maybe a couple of inches. And pause here. And smile on the face. If you want, lift one heel and then the other. And just feeling these muscles engaged. And then slowly pushing the feet down, straightening the legs. And with your hands behind the head. And again, with your shoulders, your elbows back. And down into a little squat if that's okay with your body. And then just bending side to side as if we have our backs against a wall. So we're not bending forward. And slowly pushing into the floor, coming up and walking in place. Walking in place, so here we're going to lose the heels, moving the hips, so all these muscles that just are tightening, and loosen them up again, and coming back into a chair. It's more abdominal work. So sitting toward the front of the chair, leaning back, taking a weight, and turning to one side and then the other, and an and extension. As best you can, keeping the shoulders relaxed and the face relaxed. Both feet flat on the floor. Both hip bones on the chair. Okay. 
Okay, put that weight down. And hands up, elbows out. And bringing the elbow toward the opposite knee. And, and now hand toward foot. So we're doing sort of the same thing, but bringing your foot in front of you, straightening out your leg, and then reaching the opposite hand. Maybe continuing to sort of lean back a little because you don't want to reach by folding your body in half. You want to try to bring your foot up. Reach, you meet your hand. All right, coming to stillness and raising hands overhead and arching the back just a little bit. So here we're letting these belly muscles stretch out, and then doing a few seated cat cows. So rounding the back, taking a couple of breaths here, and then breathing out all the way. And then when you breathe in, arch the back a little, look up, maybe pull, pull your hands back on your knees. Ah, deep breath in, and as you breathe out, round the back, forward. And as you breathe in, look up. Okay, coming back to standing, we'll do a few more seal jacks. And we sort of bend the legs into this. So once again, you're using all of the big muscles in the body. And using the chair again, we're going to do a, some of our yoga flow. So coming into a plank position. And then let your hips go back. Let your head come down. I take a little step back here. Bend your knees slightly. You can just pause here. Press your hands down into the back of the chair. Remove your legs. And then straighten one leg and then the other. And then maybe just sort of lean or the bent knee, just whatever feels good. But this is a nice deep stretch in the low back and the hips. And now coming back into a plank position. 
And then going beyond that a little, let the hips come forward. Let your gaze go up. So it's like the cat cow move that we just did. Breathing here, now taking a deep breath in. And as you exhale, letting your hips come back and rounding your back as you breathe out. And as you breathe in, just slowly come back into this extended hips back. And then as you breathe out, and as you breathe in, sort of in this little cobra move, leading with your head, and you come back into this slight arch of the back. And hips back. And once again, just let your arms hang down in little pulses. So you're not trying to force yourself to the floor, just little pulses. Bring your hands to your knees and round, round the back up. And moving the head up and down, wibbling side to side, and then circling the head. And exaggerating that if you're comfortable with that. And the shoulders move going in the opposite direction. And then with a little bit of a wider stance, big circles with the hips. And if you'd like, again, just exaggerating this, the shoulders will move. Go in the other direction. And just feeling, feeling into the body right here and coming back. Coming back to a seated posture with the an upright posture, chin, chin pulled back a little bit. We'll just do a little round of this tapping. So using two or three fingers and tapping on top of the head. And just kind of noticing how, how the body feels. And then running your fingers down the forehead so that you're just, just above the eyebrow and the inner corner of the eyebrow. And tapping here and just inviting the body to Relax to take advantage of this movement. Let your fingers come to the side of the eye. And then under the eye, so kind of tapping by the cheekbone. Into the nose. in the middle of the chin. Under the collarbone, just, just below the collarbone, just to the side of the sternum. Mm 
little, little smile. And just coming to stillness and acknowledging yourself for making the time today for this this exercise and for this practice. Thank you so much.